people, how are you? Hope you're feeling great, powerful, energetic, inspired, motivated, and the whole package of good stuff and the positive stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. In this video, we will talk about three tips that can make you sound like a native speaker. So are you ready? Are you? Are you ready? Okay, let's get right into it, but let's go intro first. Here we go. gentlemen and we are going to talk about our three tips to sound like a native speaker but before we get right into that we need to I need to make something quite clear first of all I am neither a native speaker nor a superhero instructor okay so the tips that I will discuss with you today using my superhero uh, YouTube book, a uh, notebook, is the following. I am going to tell you how to sound like a native speaker, but that needs a lot of time. You need to put so much effort to your English language to become quite impressive with the accent that you desire. However, the accents are not that important, but it might attract people towards you to know you okay so accent if you are a kind of person who like being uh, get people attracted and making people notice you you know British American accents everyone it but I'm telling you that you need so much time to practice that so the tips that I'm discussing for you today are starting tips which you can take them and you can start uh, practice them movies and so on and so on this is not quite formal this is a conversation uh, every day a daily basis conversation uh, so I'm not trying to make you speak like this I don't recommend you speak like this because uh, when you're working in a company or any place you must not speak like this you must speak with a very uh, fluent and very uh, understanding language tip number one black coffee black coffee now if you are noticing the end of the black CK which is the sound K and the start of coffee the, the letter C here is pronounced as K so if we have two consonants okay K C together one in the end the other one in the start as you see it on the screen we don't pronounce the both of them in the conversation when we speak uh, everyday conversation we like black coffee black coffee I'm not saying black coffee I'm saying black coffee it's like a blah coffee blah coffee okay here if you've got the same sounds of the consonants at the start and at the end of two words together so black coffee can you get me black coffee I would really love black coffee right now you know so black coffee or black coffee okay that's uh, the first example the second example that we have for you guys for the first tip is two different consonants for example what do if you are noticing the end of the what is the T letter which is a consonant and the start of the other word which is do also a consonant but different consonants so what we you say we say the following what are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you? What we did here? We absolutely we 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 forgot the idea of there is a T at the end of what? So much consonants. <clears throat> I don't like it. So W H A with D and it's not do. It's like D, like E maybe little E. Okay. So what are you? What are you? Okay, the third example that we have for the first is not at all, not at all. If you are noticing here, we've got consonant and a vowel. So, not at all. You don't see 
any native speaker would like to say, not at all. Mm -mm. They don't speak like this, like, not at all, you know? Thank you, not at all. So basically what we did here, the consonant with the vowel basically gone. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make sure that you check this video out uh, because this video is about to relax the speech, which I did uh, a long time ago, I believe six months, I'm not very sure. It's about also to speak like a native, it's called a relaxed speech and you can get right to it and you can see everything, okay? Thank you, make sure to check it out. Thank you. Now, tip number two, sequis words. For example, comfortable, come. Comfortable, comfortable. They don't say comfortable. The fur, for, mm -mm. comfortable, comfortable. So as you see, come, to, to, boom, comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. How are you? I'm comfortable. Are you good? I'm comfortable. You cool? I'm comfortable. Are you happy? I'm comfortable. Are you okay? I'm comfortable. What are you doing? I'm just using comfortable. Are you uncomfortable? I'm quite comfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Okay? And the other word that we've got for the second tip is interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Not the way that I want it. No. This is not the way they and I speak speaks. No. Interesting. This is quite interesting. Someone did something and it was very impressive, like, wow, interesting, interesting. If I am nursing one, two, three, four, we've got four syllables. However, when you say interesting, interesting, we just shrink it to three syllables. In, tri, sting. Interesting, interesting. This is how they speak. This is how I speak. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Now, we are coming to the third example of our second tip, which is every, every, we don't say every, I don't say every, I say every, every, that's one syllable I believe, every, every day I see him, every day I walk here and I come here, you know, every day I drink coffee, every day, not every day, I think it's every day, oh, it's every day, every day. I eat lunch every day, I eat dinner every day, I eat supper every day, I do everything every day, just like this. Now we are coming to the third tip, which is kind of similar to the second tip, but this one is squeezing letters. Country, country, country or country or I don't know how you say it. This is it, the way it's written here. So we don't say country, country. Country. It's my country. What's your country? Where you come from? Which country? So basically here, the TR is TR. Country. 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 Where are you from? I'm from this country. Where are you from? I'm from this country. So country, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we are jumping to the second example of our third and the last tip. Hundred. 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 We don't say that. Hundred. That's give me a hundred thousand dollar before I kill you. Give me a hundred thousand dollar before I kill you. Let's go to the third and last example for our last tip, which is did you? Did you? Did you? I don't say that really. I say did you? Did you? Did you see me on TV? Did you see my live stream on Just English? Did you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Did you share my videos? So, the D to J. So you've got nine examples. Make sure to practice them. Make sure to work on your English to make it as a native and sounds like a native speaker. However, you need time, you need so much practice and also you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, come on. And if you understood our lesson for today, how to sound like a native speaker, make sure to comment below, give us more examples, and I will reply to you, I promise, okay? Give us more examples, let's sound like a native speakers, and let's make our English a way of life. Thank you so much, be safe, be healthy, 
stay quarantined, wash your hands so much, and I will see you on another video. Thank you so much.